Hello YouTube, I'm um, Reviews one and Oton, and so I've got another video for you. Here is United slash sort of generation mold um, red car. He is a repaint of Generations Red Car because um, he's a lot nicer, a bit more show accurate. You know, he's got the lighter grill. He just still does have flames, but it's not the weird detail I don't like on the Generations one. And it's got uh, chromed, chrome red pieces, which I really like. Is that? Oh, that's just fine. Need to be more careful on that. Um, there's some. Um, the number plate sadly nothing on it and there are very stress marks on there sadly paint's really good and you can see it's obviously reds and greys the silver is quite nice especially just the one here it's quite nice silver on this side is practically the same except it's got this massive exhaust and the bit that doesn't spin the bit that doesn't spin so yeah, I did that is my, my screen's over here my webcam's over there um, he does have a kickstand on this side, so it's it's really good and it fits Redcar. You know, especially the um, the Planet Junk, you need something like this to get across it rather than the kind of big bike that it used to be. And it's a nice way to bring it sort of into slight like modern. So it's a really nice bike. Um, if you get another one of these. I think he is designed to sit on this. They did release another one, like a. I can't remember the name of it. But, yeah. So it's really good. Floors. I don't like the gr the brown here. But it does sort of fit in his. It fits in the rope, which is what I'm like aiming for. But you can see the arms and here. They do a good job of trying to hide it all, but you still see it. The main one. Is it me or is that his face? I hope it isn't me, but um, yeah. So if we get to transform him, first of all, this massive exhaust just without trying to break anything pops off, and it's attached by a by the sort of the generations peg. Leave that to the side. Next thing I like to do is unattach. There, just basically just loosen everything up, or we'll loosen these two parts up. So this, you want to bring that forward. It's on like a hinge. It's on a double joint there. And so bring that forward and leave that like that. This one, this one clicks on really tightly. You just want. Hold that round. Flip him. And next, you want to bring these two pieces here to the, uh, to the garage. You want to flip the torso around. Snip it like that. Flip the legs the, the, the right way around. This one, you want to bring it all the way forward and it pegs in. For this one, you want to unpeg that slightly. You can push these sorry, it's hard to see clearly. You can push these um handlebars back yourself, but they do go by themselves. You wanna fold this whole thing forward. Take the foot, spin it, and you have that. You can just fold these to the other side. This one, you just want to, oh, sorry. You want to take this, just flip it out. Next, you want to unpeg, just bring these around the side. You might want to have to move the uh, guard out, the stand out of the way to move it back afterwards. You just want to 
I'll take the arms down, fold them out. On this one, you could unpeg the wheel and move it round on a little ball joint so it's actually over the arm. And then you just want to pull the head up. There he is. That's right, Carl. Obviously, yeah. you rotate the hand round. So yeah, this right now looks really good. But to remember that bit we pulled up, pulled off earlier, this break out the side mount. So I didn't do a size comparison, but in vehicle mode. But obviously, if you can fit on it, then that should give you a good idea. You want to take this, straighten it out, and pull one of the blades, and they'll all go out. I like to fold the peg to the side. You have to get a thin part of this and it will fit in his hand. Like that. And just get him to a decent. And there you go. There's United Rectar in his art mode. I will really like this. He's got to be one of my favourites. Just the way that. All the wheels on one side, and this leg, and this legs can be different. All of his asymmetry is really good. Um, it's a very good throwback to original. Sadly, I don't have G1 Red Car. I, will, I am going to try and pick him up at some point. But yeah, so a size comparison. As with all the rest of them, here we have uh, Generations Optimus, uh, War Savage Optimus. About the same size, he is a deluxe. So yeah, about Redgar. Redgar first appeared in the movie, as well, well not all of you will know, so yeah. Um, he first appeared in the 1986 movie, um, when Ultra Magnus and his team, I think, they were being attacked by Cyclonus and the, the Sweeps, Scorch, I think. Uh, and Galvatron, I think they're all attacking their ship, they broke off the back and they crash landed into the uh, planet junk and that's when they met him and his friends started to fight them and then thankfully a uh, hot rod comes to save the day and uses the, uh, the universal greeting and they all start dancing to Weird Al Yankovic so yeah, there he is, it's a brief history of him. Um, he did go on to appear in season 3, I think in 4. I haven't seen, I've only seen series 1, so yeah. A series 1 in a movie, the only ones I've seen. So, you know, it's a Pick him up. I, um, I got him as an import uh, on Capel Toys. Well, not as an import, they import it and then they sell them. This will be coming to the UK soon, I'm not sure about the US. I think this is better than the Generations one, by far. Although this red chrome, I don't, I like it, but touch it too much and it was not to rub. Well, it has another thing, cause this might be different. So yeah, that is, uh, it's pretty good on his face. He has got a silver face, which I don't like. I prefer the face of the Generations one. So yeah, that is United Redcar. I've been on reviews, Tom. Uh, thank you for watching.